This time, I'll share some example of hypothesis testing. Applying linear regression, please subscribe on my channel. So what is this multiple linear regression? So this is analysis used to predict the variable y given the independent variable x. So this time, we are going to study how you are going to use this multiple linear regression. So what is the purpose of this linear regression? So this is this is different from the correlation analysis where the purpose is to examine the strength and direction of the relationship between two random variables. So linear regression attempts to find a straight line that best fits the data where the variation of the data above and below the line is minimized. So we have here uh, y, we have the linear regression equation. So a single regression model contains only one independent or explanatory variable for uh, variable x sub i, for i is one, two, and so on then that is the subject and is linear with respect to both the regression parameters and the dependent variable y so we have this equation assume linear in a relationship y is equal to a plus b times the quantity x sub i plus the margin of error so again where y is dependent dependent variable then a is a constant term then b is the slope and x is the independent variable or variables and you may uh, exclude the error so that's a standard error term is uh, a sub i okay so we have here an example of a linear relationship this is the the example of the line the method of list of squares okay why when do we use multiple or linear regression again when predicting the de uh, dependent variables x uh, y with other two or more independent variable x so si x ang independent si y ang dependent so mubari si y since uh, always si y ang dependent variable we when we want to know if there is a relationship between the dependent variables and among the independent variables so when uh when we want to know if there is a re relationship between the dependent variable and among the independent variable so aside from making predictions we can also see the relationship between the dependent variable x and the different independent variable for instance, we can make a better predictions of the performance of newly hired teachers if we will cons consider not only their educational attainment, but also their years of experience, their personality. So, except one ni mo experience, uh, except to personality, and so on, attitude, and other variables that may influence the performance. Okay, another why do we use multiple or linear regression to know the extent of influence that the independent variables have on the independent variable through the r squared by 100 percent coefficient of determination and also to know whether the correlation is positive or negative as indicated in the value of the correlation r okay we have an example this is an uh, this is only for an example since I have only 10 respondents for the study. Again, 10 is not the standard for quantitative data or research. So we have here, the data below show the study time and examination scores of 10 students. You are going to determine the regression equation, the regression equation, and tests of hypothesis that Study time is predictor of examination score at 95% level of significance. So we have here the students, the uh, study hours. This is the uh, this is the independent. 
and the dependent is the examination score. Okay. So your problem statement is study are a predictor of examination score. And then your null and alternative hypothesis for the null, the study R is not a predictor, a predictor of examination score. For your alternative, the study R is a predictor of examination score. And then your choice of test statistics, simple linear regression at alpha 0.05. Okay, here is the result since uh, I use the space S since uh, it's very easy to solve or to create an equation if you're going to use space S or Excel. So we have here, gira na siya sa space S and we come up this table. So I give you the table here, predictor, the coefficient, the sum of coefficient, the T value, and the P value. So your exam score, here is the equation, linear regression equation. So mo na ni ang equation ni mo. Y is equal to A plus uh, B times the uh, X sub I. So we have here, Y is equal to 49.48. This is a constant. Constant A plus the coefficient of R. So we have 1.96. You multiply ni mo whatever is the number of R study. So, mo ni siyang imong dependent variable. So, ma change ni siya. So, for example, 1 R. So, you have to add 149.48 plus 1.96. Okay, again, what is very important in this table is to create your regression equation. So, y is equal to the constant plus this one, 1.96, multiplied by your variable x. Okay, and then we have here the p-value. Okay, and the p-value of a constant, p-value of the hours of study. So, 0.052. Okay. And then we have also the uh, analysis of variance. So if you're going to identify how many percent was explained by the given data. So magamit ka ani analysis of ANOVA. Analysis of variance the ANOVA. To explain, pilar ka percent ang na-explain sa imuhang study. So here, we have here S is equal to 14.0025, the sum of the square, uh, this is the correlation squared, 39.4, and then 31.8. Okay, so how you're going to use this uh, analysis of variance table? You will use the p-value here. Okay, magamit ni siyang p-value which is 0 0.052. In our standard, we are using the 0 0.05. Therefore, si 0 0.052 is greater than 0 0.05. Okay, so you are going to interpret now for step 5, decision rule and findings, the decision accept the null. Why? So findings, your alpha is 0 0.05 and your p-value is 0 0.052. So less than, uh, greater c p-value compared to the alpha. That's why you are going to accept the, accept the null hypothesis. So your interpretation and analysis the study R is not a predictor of examination score. The regression equation is exam score Y is equal to 49.48 plus 1.96 multiplied by the R study. So reflect that, reflect that on the average, each additional R of study yields a little less than two additional examination points. Okay, so more or less two. Kani siya ang slope niya. So, gamay ra siyang increase. Uh, little increase of the study hours yields a little 
increase in the score. So a student who did not study, if zero ni siyang study R, so na siya is expect na score ng 49 point something. So, meaning, dili siya sufficient. So, your conclusion for the given data, since this is, again, this is not the standard, so the number of spent hours cannot predict the examination scores of the student. So, your implication here, this could be due to the very small sample size, only 10. So, this is not the standard. Again, this is only for example. So, to have more fitted predictive model need large sample size. So in this case, it is uh, it is better if one uses hundreds or standard of more than 30 uh, study, uh, students study hours and their examination performance included, included in the regression analysis. So this is for the example. So again, what is very important here you have there your table for regression only in this example only 39.4 percent was explained by this data so 39.4 percent only ang na explain so meaning really is sufficient to predict that the number of study hours maka predict siya sa score of a student so so R squared here, so coefficient niya uh, is only 39.41%. 39.41% or 4%. So it is could be said that study hours uh, explains 39.41% of the variation in Y examination score. Okay, so gamay ra yung na-explain. So, the unexplained variation of tax factors not included in the model. So, basin ug na pay other variables na magamit like reading skills, hours of sleep, hours of work, or any variab uh, variation or variables. Okay, this is... We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions please leave that in the comments below. You can recommend a topic to discuss in the future. Please watch my other math tutorial and don't forget to subscribe on my channel.